Somewhere in North Africa, troops of the United States Fifth Army are drawn up to honor the ruler of Great Britain, His Majesty King George VI, here on an inspection tour of the Allied Mediterranean Theater of War. Riding in an American scout car, accompanied by Lieutenant General Clark, the King reviews one of the modern mechanized armies the United States is sending abroad. King's party, including his Minister of War, Sir James Grigg, has lunch in the field as guests of General Clark and Tank Commander Lieutenant General Patton. The meal, prepared and served by mess men of the Engineer Corps, consists of roast beef, corn, peas, apple pie, and coffee. A soldier's fare fit for a king. Not since the historic Roosevelt-Churchill meeting in Casablanca have American troops on foreign soil been seen in such an impressive review. After personally inspecting American armies in the field, King George pushed on to Tripoli, to Malta, to see the ever-increasing forces of the United Nations gather for new blows to fall upon Nazi-held Europe.